All right, grade 12, welcome to another video in which we are now going to be looking at H lookup. I know most of you know the V lookup. Some of you fear the V lookup, but I know we've dealt with that already. So now we're going to be looking at the H lookup. So first of all, remember your V lookup actually stood for your vertical lookup, whereas H lookup is now going to be dealing with the horizontal lookup. And we're going to see exactly what the difference is. Now, here we have, and I'm just going to zoom in again. Here we have a typical example. We've got items, current price categories. What we don't have is the price percentage increase, uh, but we do have the price for next year. So we need to fill that up. And we can see it's not in this uh, particular sheet. There is a tab over here that says lookup table, and that's where we're going to be getting our info from. Now, this is the first big difference because what we saw in the VLOOKUP was that we had the headings, you know, running from left to right across the top and then the information underneath. Whereas here we've got it um, running on the left side and then uh, all the other information running horizontally. OK, that's why we've got or that's why it's called a horizontal lookup. All right. So let's look at the first one. Um, what are we going to do? We're going to go to formulas. We're going to go to insert function and we're going to go to H lookup. Going to select that and get that open. So this is exactly the same uh, layout as we did with the VLOOKUP. And the first thing they want is our lookup value. So I just want to close this quickly. Uh, let's see what is it that we have over here that we also have in our lookup table. All right? What do we have? We have the category. All right? I've got the category over there. I've got the category over here. So I'm going to match up the category from this sheet to the next one and then extract that percentage increase back over here. All right, so let's go again. H lookup. All right, so what's our lookup value? Our lookup value is the category. All right, then we're going to go to table array. In other words, which table are we going to go and look at? So I'm going to go to lookup table and I'm going to go through this whole range over here. Okay. That's the entire range I'm going to look at. Now, row index number. What am I going to look at over there? Um, again, I'm going to go over here. And I'm going to be looking at, is it going to be 1 or 2? It's going to be 2. Now, why is it saying invalid? It's saying that because, obviously, when I click on this over here, you can see uh, it does throw it into the row index number. So be careful of doing that. Just going to delete that, put in the number two. You can see immediately there's my answer. And then remember, we can use true or false. False is going to give us an exact match, whereas true is going to give us the closest match. And we want an exact match, so we're going to type in false. We're going to click OK. And there we have our 25% increase. OK. Um, if I, let's see if we do the autofill, is that going to work? No. OK. Why is it not going to work? Because every time I move down, as that formula moves down, it's going to have a bit of a problem. Let's let's look at the second one. What is it? The lookup value that it's going for is C4. But now look what happens. This begins to change. OK, so please just bear that in mind. We don't want to be doing that. Let's just go and do one more. I'm going to go to this one over here. Insert function H lookup. Again, my lookup value is my category going to go to table array. I'm going to highlight this whole range because that's where I want it to look. The row index number. Remember just to delete everything out there. And it is row number two. There already is my answer. I want an exact match. And I click OK. And there we go, guys. OK, so this is how we do our H lookup. And you can see it's almost identical to our V lookup. Um, but just things are running horizontally instead of vertically.